Okay. I just made a video with no audio. Probably near benefit, but tough crap. So this is my, uh, you know, the whatever. <laughs> Phallic blue. I know that's not the name. Uh, good SG. I had uh, my friend Jeff Cam, Cam, K A M N, Cam Guitars, Cam Guitars, Jeff, up there. He makes all of my mirrored stuff. So that's mirrored. That's mirrored. The this is nice and shiny now. Not that it matters, but I like it. And uh, now it looks good. I still haven't had it set up because I just had two guitars worked on and it set me back 220 bucks. And not a lot, but more than I was planning. It's a long story and it's on another video that one will be posted tonight. I cut it in half because it was almost an, it's a half hour long. It's stupid. I talk too much. Way too much. So I'm cutting it in half. You'll see part one tonight. Late tonight. Tomorrow morning. So let's hear what this sounds like for a minute, and then we'll talk about my beautiful Thunderbird. <laughs> This one is <laughs> the string suck it goes right out of tune but ain't it pretty and it's phallic blue <laughs> so there you go that's that goodbye we don't need amps this is gonna be quick so he did this and he did this for my this is my like, if, if any of you have watched my old Fatal Attraction videos, because I bought this in 89 uh, for nothing, 500 bucks. And this is a real Gibson 76 Thunderbird, a real one. And if you look at pictures, there's a picture of me standing, you know, like looking somewhere. But I'm holding this, and it's white, and that's the original color, white. And when I got it, it was off white because it was you know, 76, 86, 89, so a lot of smoking. So when I had it, it this when I bought it, the headstock was cracked a little, 
and had a big chunk taken out of here. And you can see it in the picture, the trunk chunk. So when I had it painted black by Johnny Crypt's dad in Texas, we drove out to Texas and we forgot our guitars because we were going to be there for three or four horrifying sucky weeks in Friendswood, Texas. <laughs> it was hell. I hated it. I'd never lived in Texas. I don't know what you people see in Texas, but go ahead. Stay there. Um, you know, I like, you know, it was a good state. It's turning a little crazy now. But see, I noticed in 1976, 77, 78, especially uh, Gene Simmons and Kiss Meets the Phantom. And in a few shows, I think Kiss Houston. I'm not sure. Just look. He's playing a Gibson Thunderbird, 76, black, with a mirrored pick guard. Could be stainless steel but i'm pretty sure it was just this and it looked badass i'm like wow i've never seen one with one because <laughs> everybody that has one of these wants to have their original you know pick guard on there i had the original but when i had it painted black i just took mine and painted it black the pick guard i didn't care so everything would be black you never think in the future. <laughs> I also popped the knobs off and had my dice, like Nikki Six. Took white dice, you drill the one, drill the hole where the one on the die is, and on the other side is a six. So you got six, six, six. So I'll do that again. Not that I'm not into devil, you know, I'm totally Christian, but this is just to redo my guitar, but with the update of this. Uh, really nice mirrored pick guard i love it this bass still sounds good see how it's got that grand piano sound the low e's a little funky but probably need to set up Trying to play tonight by Fatal Attraction. Woo. A lot of people think I'm just riding the ace oh, all the time, but I'm not. Usually I would I would do a lot of one note, but I'm going along with the bass, with the bass drum or the beat of the... So he's like boom, psh, boom, psh, especially uh, Trey's brother when he's playing drums. It's been a while. Then I hear I ride it. There it is. Gibson 76 Thunderbird worth thousands of dollars. Uh, no, I'm not interested in selling it ever. Ever, ever, ever. I love it. Uh... Pretty much almost done with the restoration, except for getting my uh, dice back, which I have to do myself. You can't buy white dice with sixes on each side. So there you go. Out. Subscribe. Uh, comment. Comment on this. You cannot see this beautiful base and not comment on it. Really. Later. Metal. Lee and Metro makes me happy. And it should you too. Thanks for the subscribers so far. I'm getting up there slowly. Help us out, man, because they're targeting guitar players. They are. YouTube is. So do it. We've got to all band together because they're trying to 
get us to stop doing it. That's why I'm talking more, because they don't want guys just getting up and playing guitar, even if they're good. And I'm not that good, so they're going to really come after me later. But if anybody that owns this, how can they get rid of them? Later, man. <laughs>